Hello, it's Pastor Moses coming to you with this week's Midweek Thoughts. This Sunday, we're doing many things at church. We are having um, a time when we thank our outgoing office bearers, our elders and our deacons who have completed their three-year term. We also give thanks for new office bearers who are coming in uh, to continue to serve our church for a three-year term. We also remember this Sunday being Indigenous Ministry Sunday, a Sunday that has been um, set aside by the denomination to, um, to remember and to recognize and to celebrate our relationship with our Indigenous um, neighbors here in Canada. Now, what do all three of these have in common? Uh, I was thinking about this a little bit and I was remembering about uh, the ordination and installation of elders and deacons. And if you have one of these at home, the Gray Psalter, if you look in page 1004, uh, you will see the text that is usually used. You can also go to uh, the CRCNA website where they give a more modern version of this rendition. But what it essentially is, is telling uh, the congregation what we're doing, thanking the people who have served, and recognizing that we are doing something um, that the Bible asks us to, to appoint leaders of the church to govern and to lead the church and to serve the church. And here, we, the person who's doing the installation normally asks the question such as this, do you promise, do you promise to do the work of your offices faithfully in a way worthy of your calling and in submission to the government and discipline of the church? Do you promise? Do you promise? And then, of course, the officiant then will ask the congregation as well. Do you, congregation, pledge to receive them as you have been charged? And we say yes. We see this a lot. We see this in wedding. We see this at times when two people are making a promise. Does that sound a lot like a covenant? A promise that is made between two parties that they promise to keep. Well, on Indigenous Ministry Sunday, we are going to look at that as well. The whole idea that our relationship between the Indigenous people and the people that are currently living in the land who have come into the land, they have made a covenant to work side by side to continue to be responsible for the creation that God has given us and to continue to live in community. And how do we do that? We do that by exchanging our hearts. Now this all seems like a lot and we're going to try to unpack it. I'm going to try to unpack it. We have a few people who are sharing their testimonies uh, of their experience going through Hearts Exchange. We're going to make ourselves feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable at looking at some of the things that we haven't really given much thought to. But just like we are part of God's covenant, we currently live under the covenant that had been made many hundred years ago. And so how does that affect us? We're going to find out this Sunday. Come join with me as we worship, as we celebrate, and as we remember God's faithfulness to us to all the people, to all the image bearers of God. I hope to worship with you this Sunday. Blessings.